Number 60. A wheel of radius 8 inches is rotating 15 degrees per second. What is the linear speed, the revolutions per minute, and the radians per second? All right. So, um, yeah. So we got a wheel, right? And it's circular. Let's draw a better circle. Well, okay, that didn't really do it. One more time. There you go. So it says the radius of this circle is going to be 8 inches. Okay, great. So that's 8 inches. All right. And... What we can do here, once we know, you know, the radius, we can do a couple of things about a circle. We can calculate the circumference. We can also calculate the um, uh, area as well. Now, the area is unimportant here. It's really the circumference. Remember, the circumference is the length of this outermost portion of the circle. Okay? So, the circumference then of this circle, it's a simple formula. It's 2 pi r, right? 2 pi times the radius. So, in other words, this would be 2 pi multiplied by the radius of 8 inches. And this would then work out to be an exact value of 16 pi inches. In other words, pi is just a number, right? It is 3.14, so you can take 16 multiplied by pi, and therefore it comes out to be 50.3 about. So the circumference here is about 50.3 50 inches. Either one, it says the same thing. This one's exact, and this one is estimated because I can't write out the decimals to infinity. Otherwise, I'll never get to any other problems. So what we now need to look at is, um, so now that we found the circumference, <clears throat> we can, well, it actually might be easier. And I'm thinking it's probably not actually easier to calculate the linear speed in the beginning. It's probably easier to calculate the revolutions maybe per minute or the radians per second or something like that. Okay. Um, so just keep this, keep this on the side for a moment. I'm going to actually come back to that. All right, let's first calculate then the radians per second. So what they told you is that the rotation here is going to be 15 degrees. I'm going to translate that into DEG, 15 degrees every single second. And what I want to find, though, is I want to convert this into radians per second. So in other words, what I notice is that the degrees turn to radians, but the seconds remain the same. So this is actually a very simple conversion. What we need to know is we need to know a relationship then between degrees and radians. In other words, you know that in 180 degrees, there are pi radians, right? We've done that throughout the chapter. That probably needs to be, if not memorized, you should be doing enough practice actually where it just, you know, it is memorized. You're not sitting there and saying, oh, 180 degrees pi radians. You're just doing so many problems. That are, oh yeah, I've seen that before, right, 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 right. Okay, so the way this conversion now works is you're going to then want the degrees to cancel and therefore your value of degrees in this conversion fraction must go in the bottom. And then your radian value, which is pi, which is really just 3.14159, et cetera, et cetera, goes on the top. Now calculate this, okay? So it's basically 15 over 180. If you wanna leave it in terms of exact answers, you're able to do that. But this is <clears throat> 15 times pi divided by 180, and the answer works out to be about 0 0.262, roughly, radians per second. So that takes care of the first part there, right? Oh, I'm gonna change that to green. So that takes care of the green part. Okay, that's the number of radians per second. If you needed the exact answer, you would just have to start simplifying here, right? I mean, you know five goes into 15 three times, right? 5 goes into 180, just throw it into the calculator quickly, 36 times, all right? So this actually should be able to be reduced again, so 15 should have went into 180, all right? So you could have just did it that way, so that's 12, right? So in other words, this would simplify down to 1 over 12, and then the final answer here, instead of 0.62, which is fine, you could have written as pi over 12, or 1 12th pi radians per second. All right, you could, that would have been fine too. In any case, um, so that's the radians per second. Uh, so now let's do maybe revolutions per minute. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to take this 0 0.262 radians per second value that I obtained, and I have to convert that now into revolutions per minute. So I notice two values are changing. Radians are going to revolutions, seconds are going into minutes. So I want to think about this in three parts. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Please check that video out. I walk you through step by step about how to do these, uh, you know, uh, rate conversions, so to speak, when you have two things going on. 
So we're going to do this conversion first, the radians to revolutions. I'm also going to assume, not assume, but I mean it is the case that this is per one second on the, in the denominator. So I'm going to then do that conversion next. And then at the end, I just simply divide my two answers, the green divided by the red. So, uh, so watch, 0 0.262 <clears throat> radians. Now I gotta convert that into revolutions, okay? So maybe I know a relationship between revolutions and radians. And you know that in one full revolution, there's how many radians? Right, two pi, two pi, right? So you actually know the ratio, the relative uh, ratio between the two. Then in other words, one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So this is the conversion value you're gonna use. Since you want the radians to cancel, that value goes in the denominator. And you want the, uh, excuse me, well, I said it, but I brought the wrong thing over, right? Since you want the radians to cancel, that goes in the denominator. Since you want the revolutions, that goes in the numerator. So basically what you do is you do this calculation. So take that exact answer from before, 0.261799, blah, 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 and divide it then by parentheses, now 2 pi. If you left everything in terms of pi, you might see things canceling nicely, all right? Uh, but here, this is going to work out to be 0 0.0417, roughly, and this is revolutions. So this is my green value now, and maybe what I should do is change this color, because I'm, it might get confused with the other one. So let's just call that yellow. That's my yellow value. Then I'm going to do the one in red. So now I'm going to take my one second and I have to convert that into minutes. But this one is very straightforward, right? You know that in uh, one minute, there are 60 seconds, right? So you're going to take that second value, throw it into the denominator because you want the seconds to cancel. You take the minute, throw it into the numerator because you want it in terms of minutes. Notice the seconds go bye-bye just like the radians went bye-bye in the other one. And we take 1 and divide it by 60. And we realize we get about a value of, in terms of a decimal, 0 0.17. Okay? Minutes. Now, all we got to do is we divide the yellow by the red. Okay? That's the last step. So now we're going to take the 0 0.0417 revolutions, divide it then by 0 0.017 minutes. And then we get our final answer. Okay? So let's just move this on over to the side a little bit and plug it do you know go back into the history of the calculator and make sure you're plugging in exact answers so your answer should come out to be basically like almost exactly 2.5 all right 2.5 if you did it all with exact values you would have seen that all right so 2.5 the units here then are revolutions per minute isn't this fun so that's then the final answer Okay, so revolutions per minute, I'm going to maybe change the color on this. So why don't we go to a little pink? Well, that's purple. What are you talking about? A little purple? Yeah, maybe I'm colorblind. Um, so that's the revolution per minute. <laughs> and now, um, yeah, now we get to calculate the linear speed. So, um, right, well, I have like no space. So linear speed, let's just see if I can move this on up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so they didn't tell us, you know, how they want the linear speed. Should it be miles per hour, meters per second, you know, kilometers per year? Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, because they have this, you know, in terms of inches, I'm going to calculate inches per uh, minute. All right. And then, you know, I don't know if that's the right unit that they want, but it's the right, it is a correct answer. We'll put it that way. So now what I need to do is I'm going to go to 2.5, then revolutions per minute, now to find a linear velocity, I need to then convert the revolution into some length, right? Into some length. So this is gonna be converted into inches per minute. So since the numerator is the only thing that's changing, I don't have to focus on like doing this three-step process that I did over here, right? We can actually simply just plug this on in. So this is 2.5 rate uh, revolutions, 2.5 revolutions, per every single minute. And we know, we just carry that's this is now where the circumference comes in. We know that the circumference here, or in other words, one full revolution, was equivalent to 50.3 inches. So that's how I can now do my conversion. In other words, I want the revolutions to cancel. So I plug that in, well, don't take the equal sign. I plug that in in the denominator, and then I'm gonna plug the inch value into the numerator. 
And then I get my answer in inches now per minute, right? Do you see that? Inches per minute. So then all I got to do, just take out the calculator and just do that 2.5 multiplied by then. I'm going to use the exact answer of 16 pi there. All right, I'm going to calculate it. So this is going to be about 125. You can leave this in terms of pi. I don't know, right? This would be like 2.5 technically times then 16 pi. And, you know, that would be, you know, 16 times 2.5 would work out to be exactly 40. So if you wanted to leave this in terms of pi, it would be 40 pi inches per uh, minute. Or you could have multiplied the 40 then by the pi, and you would have gotten about 126-ish. 126 inches per minute. Both are, ex you know, both are fine. One's more exact. But anyway... Yeah, I'm just looking at this and it's like a, a sea of conversions, right? I feel like I'm drowning. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you are thoroughly confused at the moment, I don't blame you. This is a little bit, um, I don't know, I feel like in the chapter we went from a, you know, nice, you know, walk. Not even a jog, right? Just a walk. To now we're, you know, trying to run the uh, New York City Marathon. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. By the way, have you ever done a marathon? I've only done a half. And then my knee basically at the end gave out. Um, but if you've done a marathon, leave a comment below. Let me know your time. I forgot my, I don't even remember my half. Half, half marathon? I don't remember. What was it? I don't, I don't remember. It was either, no, four hours? Yeah. No, two hours? I don't remember. No, two? No, two? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, so if you're if you're uh, still listening, then um, I really have nothing important to say at the moment. So you can definitely, you know, you can say bye and click on another video. But before you do, remember, hit the like button, subscribe. All right, I appreciate it. Please, please, please. It helps us out tremendously. And um, yeah. Best of luck with your class. All right. Take a look at some more of the problems. We've got a whole bunch of subjects out there. We've got thousands of videos, different subjects, we solve specific problems. All right. Um, yeah. We have it all organized, or we try to organize it to the best of our ability on our YouTube channel under the playlist section. So check it out. We'll probably be able to help you with more topics. We'll see you soon.